The problem with trying is that you have to accept and be comfortable with whoever you are now, with whatever you are now, in order to be able to move on from that aspect of yourself that you have accepted to the upgraded version of it. And when you're trying, it means that you did not yet fully accept that aspect of yourself. Because whenever you're trying, it means that you are trying to get away from something about yourself that you don't like and get to something. You're trying to escape a part of yourself and get to a better part to get to something that you actually want. And the problem here is that you are not in full acceptance of your current state. You know, for example, like if you are an introvert, but you would love to have more friends, but you love having connections. You love making connections with others. You love, you want to socialize for yourself. You want to be someone who socializes and then you go out and you try to socialize. You try to socialize. You're going to be thinking, I'm an introvert and I'm trying to socialize. I'm trying to go against my inner self. I'm trying to be this or that because I want this or that for myself. But it's not simply doing. It is more of trying. You're trying to do it. You feel inside of yourself that you are trying to do it. And I'm saying this because this is a very important clue for you. Because that's a transformational point. When you know, whenever you're trying, whenever you're trying, you're desperately trying, you feel as if, You want to move on from that aspect to another one. You want to change. You're trying to change that thing about your life, about yourself. That's when it does not happen. Versus what happens when you fully accept that you are an introvert, for example. When you accept that you are an introvert and you come in complete harmony with it. Now it changes. Now, if you go out and you try to socialize, when you accept anything, let go of of this example for now. When you accept any part about yourself, when you accept anything about yourself, you detach from its outcome. You stop trying. You stop feeling as if you need to be trying all the time. You stop wanting the opposite. You stop wanting to do something about it. You might want to do something about it. You might be doing. You're going to stop trying, but you're going to be doing. Now you're going to move into doing. Now I'm simply doing it because I want to do this. I know I want to do this. But you're not having that deep attachment to the outcome. You're detached. And when you're detached, there is no resistance because you don't, you're not thinking, oh, I'm trying to resist my inner self. I know that I'm not this, but I'm trying and I'm trying and I'm trying because you detach. You're not bothered. You're not bothered by the outcome. You're not bothered by who you are now. You love who you are now, regardless. And that what happens when you reach to that state in which you are in peace with yourself. You love being with yourself. You love your own company. You're not trying to just desperately have connections with anyone. You're not just seeking desperately more friends, but you're doing it. And now back to the example, if you are, if you go out and you try to socialize, and that's only the first part, by the way, we're, we're into of the problem of trying but what happens when you go out and now you're trying to socialize first and foremost you're not going to be trying you know keep in mind that this is a transformational point this is your clue in order to know whether it's about to happen or not yet for you whether but you're about to feel that change experience that change you're seeking or not yet because when you're not trying that's when it happens and so now you go out and you're not trying And you sit and you're put in a situation in which you could socialize if you want. And you find it more effortless. It comes with so much ease and peace around it and calmness. Because you're not thinking I'm resisting my inner self. You're not thinking I'm trying. And now you're able to be more your authentic self. You're not trying to do something. You're simply doing it. And so when you're you're not bothered, you're detached from it. You're detached from the outcome. And now it's gonna be, it's gonna go with more ease and you're gonna be more of yourself. And now you're gonna have a better possibility, a better chance at building connections, at making connections, at having deep, profound connections with others, at making more friends because you're 
detached you're not so attached and so you mess things up and you have this discomfort around you because you know that you are resisting something within you and you're trying to go against it so now apart from not you that you are not going to be trying you're simply going to be being doing now you're also it's going to be better you're going to be able to do it better you're going to be able to go to, to have a better experience of that thing and that works with everything this is just an example you could build it you could witness your life in every aspect see for yourself see what happens when you're trying and what happens when you stop trying if you go back in time see every time your life shifted around a specific aspect it was when you felt as if you are no longer trying, but you are simply being that thing. You are doing that thing for yourself because you want to do it. You're not desperately trying. You're not trying to escape something and be something. You are just doing in a process of harmony with life, with who, with who you are. And the second part, you know, like more so then you know you're gonna be better at doing it when you're not trying when you're simply doing it because it's gonna be with more ease it's gonna feel more effortless when you're detached when you accept yourself when you accept that you are an introvert and that it is lovely that you are in peace with it that you love it because you know you could there are ways to actually love it it, it does not have people are only you only don't like something about yourself because you don't like what you're doing with it but if you use it in your favor if you use it in your benefit if you use it to your advantage and you're able to harmonize the the environment you know have books have hobbies create hobbies do something you know with yourself find a hobby go for a walk and enjoy it you know just like that experience that experiment with the rats you know when they had water laced with with, with heroin in a boring environment versus water that's not laced with anything regular water they would always go for the water with with the drug whether it's heroin or cocaine or whatever it was you know they did several experiments but then someone came in uh, an experiment uh, an ex a scientist i don't remember his name i think it was alexander something that was back you know in the last century and he he noticed that the environment was so dull it was simply a cage you know with nothing to do and then he built the most the perfect cage for 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 a rat and then they stopped it going for opting for the water laced with heroin and they just had regular water and previously they would keep drink the water laced with heroin till they, they they die out now they were enjoying the other things they got within their cage and they gave up that addiction and so you could well optimize your environment to whatever to whomever you are to whatever you are and that's gonna be making the best of whatever situation you're in because every situation you can make the best out of it and it's gonna be amazing you're gonna love it but more so back to our main topic is that energetically when you stop trying when you energetically when you accept something about yourself fully life gives you the version of that aspect that you actually want and that's the part of the comicality of life comicality i'm not sure if that's a word you know that's how comic life comical life is when you accept a part of yourself say in this example it was being an introvert once you accept that aspect of yourself now you're gonna find that life puts you in situations where you can make more friends where you could have life is going to surround you suddenly you're not lonely you know it's like you're lonely but you don't want to be lonely but you accept being lonely you're lonely you're feeling lonely you're you're alone but you don't want to be alone you don't want to be alone and at the same time you accept being alone you accept yourself for who you are for what it is now life suddenly puts you in a, in a situation when you're where you're not alone that's how it works every time that's what i meant what i was meaning when i when i was saying you know go back in time and check every time you accept something about yourself see what happens to that aspect if you wanted something else so you wanted there you were lonely but you did not want to be lonely you did not want to be alone but eventually but at some point you accepted that it's okay being lonely you love being lonely
you love that aspect but at the same time you maintain that you did not want to be alone within you and so the moment you accept it detach from the the trying the neediness trying to get to know others to to connect with others life will put you in a situations where you, in which you're not alone and that happens with everything so when the second part is that when you give up your attachment to that aspect of yourself to the need to change that aspect about yourself life changes changes it for you if you want it changed like i was saying it's comical it's ironic if you want to i don't know probably yeah that's the irony in life that's part of the irony of life and so now not just that you psychologically do it better whatever you're not you're detached from whatever you're not bothered with but now energetically you matched its energy because back then it was on a pedestal as long as you're trying you're trying it's something that is so far away from you and you're trying to get to it but when you love yourself when you let go of that neediness and you accept yourself you accept that aspect about yourself now it's no longer on a pedestal because you're good with what you have you're in content you're in peace you're in love you're in grace you're grateful for who you are for what you are and now it's no longer on a pedestal and you can match its energy you can match its frequency and you are in harmony and that's when you get it and that's when you have whatever you want the version of that thing that you actually want if you actually wanted a different version because maybe you you re, you become very in harmony with whoever you are that you even let go of that thing that change you wanted to do but if you want the change to happen and you accept the aspect of of yourself regarding that thing which you wanted changed life changes it for you and that's why i call it the transformational point because now you know now you know when it's going to happen and when it does not when it's not time for it you know you will know when when you're ready because it's going to be with ease you're not you could still do the things that are going to cause that change but it's not going to be trying it's going to be doing you're simply going to be yourself because you're not Again, you're not trying to move on from something. You're not trying to escape something. You're simply doing whatever you you believe in. Yet at the same time, you fully accept. You're fully comfortable with who you are. You like who you are. You're enjoying who you are. And simply, you're doing those other things because it's they're interesting for you. To you, you like doing them. You like you know hanging out with other people. Back to the example of being an introvert. You you want to hang out with people, so you do it. You know. but you're not attached to it however it goes you're not attached you're not bothered because you're not desperately trying to make friends and now so psychologically energetically you get those things once you stop trying you get the thing you want when you stop trying to actually get it when you stop trying and trying and trying when you're trying it means that you're no you're not in harmony If you're trying to get that job, if you're trying to make that business, start that business, if you're trying to find that partner, to to find that whatever, to make this amount of money, but you feel as if you're trying, you're not simply doing it because you know it's interesting. You're you're right with whomever you are. You're right with your current state, with your current relationship. You know, love life, uh, financial life, uh, social life. career life whatever you're good with all of it now you get the upgraded versions of all of those things that you actually want because you're good you're good when you're good life is good to us that's that's the thing that's the the, the exchange that happens when you change something from the equation as long as you're having a toxic relationship with life i don't like what you're giving me i don't want this thing i want another thing why are you always giving me bad things it's going to remain the same it's just like a relationship between two people they're always giving the worst to each other they're always blaming each other they're always this and that this and that and it's going to remain that way unless someone until someone changes that equation changes part of the formula and go like you know I'll always give you love I'll give you love regardless I'll give you peace I'll give you my good aspect I'll give you my best version because I want to do this you know 
and now that person the other person starts to change back because they have a positive they're getting positive feedbacks they're getting positive feedback and they have to give back positive and that's what happens with life so stop trying because trying indicates that you're not content you're discontent you're not fulfilled you're not grateful you did not accept who you are and i'm not telling you to just not do anything but don't be trying just do whatever you believe in don't try to do it because first you're gonna mess it up when you try when you have this energy about yourself that you're trying when you're thinking that i'm trying to escape something that is part of me that is part of my life that is within me that's part of my inner self and i'm trying to get to something else something of the opposite nature you're gonna create a negative energy around that thing but when you let go of this and you truly accept you're in true gratitude harmony vibrationally match that thing that's when it happens that's when life serves it to you on a gold platter with that being said thank you so much for tuning in to another video to another beautiful day thank you so much and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel because it helps me so much and it helps this video find its way to many more others who might actually need it